Hey everyone, so today's video is all about a fall trend that is really, really big and that is all about the buried lip. So I decided to kind of go to the drugstore, find some good brands that I thought that would be affordable because all of us can't, you know, go out and buy $15, $20 lipsticks. Definitely for something that's on trend and we're not really sure that if we're going to like it or not. But so far I'm really, really loving this trend and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lipsticks. So I've got five different lipsticks. Um, all of them obviously were under $10. But I got some really, really good deals. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in to a few of my favorites that I found. So the first two are actually from Wet n Wild, which they are a super affordable makeup that you can find in pretty much anywhere. I got all of my stuff at CVS. So anyways, let's get started. So the first lipstick that I'm going to talk about is actually, this one is called, it's this color here, this is called, um, Sugar Plum Fairy. So this one is more of a, I would say Merlot type lipstick. Um, they are kind of on a satin finish, but if you put a little bit of setting powder or translucent powder on top, you can definitely make them more matte. Uh, but this one here is just kind of a Merlot um, plum type color. And this I think will complement all skin tones. Um, you know, you can wear it fairly sheer or you can really build it up so it can be a dark, bold lip. But so far, I really like the staying power of the lipstick. Um, they don't dry up, they don't cake, they don't seem to feather, they don't seem to move so far, and I've tried them out, and I really do love them. So I'm going to go ahead and get into other two lipsticks, and I'll save my last one. <laughs> the other two that I ended up finding were from Revlon, and they're from the Revlon Super Lustrous brand that they have lipsticks. Now, I would suggest these for a person who is not sure about the bold lip, but kind of wants to rock the colors. Um, so these are the two colors that I, in, that I ended up getting. Oops. These two lipsticks here. And the camera's not really doing them justice. They're a little darker than what they are on here. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is Berry Couture, which is this one here. It's that really pretty berry color. And this lipstick, I would say, is more of a sheer tone lipstick like when you look at the pan or the bottle or the lipstick tube itself it seems like it will go on darker than what it does these obviously you're going to have to really build up to get what you want but they're very they're very moisturizing um and i think the fact that you can apply them on sheer is really good especially if you're kind of iffy about the bold lip but you still like the colors um so so far that's what this one looks like there and the next one that I have from the Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick line is this one is called Plum Velour, which just looks like this, a very pretty dark, dark plum color. Um, and I'll swatch this right next to this one here. This one was a little disappointing because in the lipstick tube, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But then again, it goes on very, very sheer. It's this one here. So if you're not into I'm trying to build up the color if you're not into um, wearing a bold lip these two would be really good for you if you really do love the colors but don't want to go as bold as you would with a normal um, lipstick overall the color payoff is uh, okay for these for my my personal preference but they're very moisturizing they actually feel really really good I think this would be a good color or good brand to get in like nudes or just like an everyday lipstick or something like that. But as far as really rocking the trend, these are not necessarily my favorite. But if you are a person, like I said, who's not really sure about this, don't know if the colors would work out with you, you could definitely try these two and see how they are because they're going to be sheer. But it'll give you an idea if you really like those. So the next lipstick that I found was from Black Radiance. Um, and this one, I can't seem to find a name. So the number is 5033. And this one is just a super duper dark color, like a wine berry type color. It looks off, um, awfully brown, but it's actually not that brown. So it has, surprisingly for as inexpensive as this was, it has really good color payoff. So it's a little bit more moisturizing just like these two, but obviously the color payoff is much greater 
than um, the Revlon ones here. So I really do love this lipstick. And then the last lipstick I want to talk to you about was the other Wet n Wild lipstick. And this is actually what I have on my lips today. My favorite color. This one is called Cherry Bomb. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand here. Even though you guys see it on my lips. It's that one there. It is just the perfect color. It is kind of like the Black Radiance color but just a little bit more matte, not as um, shimmer. It's not a full matte lipstick. It does have a little bit of a gloss to it, but what I did to make mine more um, matte finish is that I just took a white translucent powder, took a little bit on my finger, and just kind of tapped it on my lips. That also will help your makeup, or actually your lipstick to set, but um, kind of help you to mattify a lipstick a little bit. And the one that I used was just the NYX HD Studio Powder that you probably see me use in a few videos now but overall these are the lipsticks that I found um, as far as the wet n wild ones um, those are absolutely amazing um, these are the two wet n wild ones as you can see the color payoff is crazy probably staining my hand here but oh well <laughs> the Revlon ones are really great especially if you are someone who is undecided about these particular colors don't know if you could pull off a dark lip but really do like the colors to try it out um I haven't really tried them enough to try to get as much of the color payoff but just on the back of my hand you can see that's pretty much what you're going to get um just about that dark but they are very um moisturizing so if you have super duper dry lips and you don't feel like you can carry a matte lip lip I would even say use a matte lipstick then take one of these Revlon ones that are comparable to that and put it over it and they'll give you some moisturized moisturizing lips <laughs> but as you can see I had to really really build up those colors um let me try one more time here um to really get what I wanted so the two in the middle there and then the Black Radiance one, I was actually very surprised. I mean, the packaging obviously is fairly cheap, but overall, I mean, it was, it's this one here. It's very, very pigmented. So like I said, anything that is ever on trend, never hesitate to go to the drugstore. Um, you're going to find a lot of great lipsticks, a lot of great eyeshadows, a lot of great everything. I always say definitely try the drugstore brand before you buy the bullet and go to MAC or go to Estee Lauder or East St. Laurent, whatever it may be, more of those um, department store brands, definitely check out the drugstore. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do try these bull lips, I would love to see them. Please tag me on Instagram or tweet me or whatever the case would be. All that information is going to be listed below. I also will list all of these lipsticks below as far as um, names. And in the order in which I show them in this video, of course, so it'll be easier for you guys. But um, also all the names and the prices once I find my receipt. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys till next time. Bye.